everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today, I'm going to go through a paper which showed that NMN supplementation was able to lengthen telomeres. The paper is particularly interesting as it involved both mice and humans. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, The Impact of Short-Term NMN Supplementation on Serum Metabolism, Fecal, Microbiota, and Telomere Length in Pre-Aging Phase. This study was both in humans and mice. We will go into what it means by pre-aging in a little bit. Let's do a quick summary of the paper, then go into more detail on some of the results. The core of the study was looking at the microbiota and metabolomes of 16-month-old mice following short-term administration of NMN. They looked at the telomere length in the blood mononuclear cells of both mice and humans. The body weight was not impacted by NMN, but NMN did change the microbiota. It reduced diversity and it changed the relative abundance of some of the strains. They proposed that the microbiota was reshaped to lower features of aging and improve immune system and cofactor vitamin metabolism. Telomere length was significantly elongated in both mice and humans. These results suggest that NMN supplementation in pre-aging stage, around 45 to 60 for humans, could slow down aging. In the mouse tests, they did not see any change in body weight or food intake between the groups. They did see that the average body temperature went up. I would have thought that this would have reduced their weight or increased food intake, but it seems to have done neither. Looking at the gut microbiome, they saw significant changes, including a decrease in the variety of species. As we can see in this principal component analysis, the microbiota was significantly changed by the supplementation with clear differentiation between the two groups. We won't go into much detail on the species changes, but a few high level points. Proteobacteria have some pathogenic members and are positively associated with aging. There was a reduction in the abundance of proteobacteria, which is good. There was also a reduction in the acomantia, which is sometimes taken as a probiotic. This is the opposite to the results from a previous study. They did not get to the bottom of why this was, but proposed that it may be because of the age of the mice that they were using. They did see an increase in turicobacter, a producer of butyric acid, which helps with anti-fatigue, but also an increase in helicobacter, which can be pathogenic. So they say this needs to be further investigated. Turning to telomeres, this part of the trial was run on both mice and humans, and in both cases, they saw a significant increase in telomere length. They hypothesized that the lengthening may be due to higher NAD levels stabilizing the telomeres. They did not know if the microbiome changes were related to the changes in the telomere length. Let's have a look at how the NMN was delivered and what the dose was starting with the mice. They were male C57BL6 mice, a common lab strain. The NMN was given in their drinking water at 500 milligrams per liter. To convert this to milligrams per kilogram, we need to know how much a mouse drinks in a day. Looking on the internet, I found this is between four and six milliliters. So I will go with five. This makes a dose of 2.5 milligrams per day. An adult male mouse weighs 30 grams or so. So milligrams per kilogram is around 83. And finally, the human equivalent would be 6.9 milligrams per kilogram or around 483 milligrams for a 70 kilogram person. For the human part of the trial, this was non-blinded with eight healthy men. They were 45 to 60 years old and not obese. The trial was for 90 days. The dose was 300 milligrams per day taken with water. For me, the main takeaway from the paper was that the telomeres were elongated with the NMN supplementation. The changes to the microbiome were harder to quantify, especially as they were only done on the mice. Though I should note that the authors did view the changes as positive for slowing down aging. 